A level is a control used by Revit to set the elevations or height of each building component inside of the project. Now, as we can see, we're currently inside of the south elevation view. And what's already here in the project is level one and level two. And we're gonna to need to add a top of footing level as well as several levels up above. In order to be able to do this, there's really two different methods that we can use. The first method is to come up here on the ribbon underneath the structure tab and look for level. And it should be over toward the right hand side. Go ahead and select on level. And if you move your mouse down, you'll see that you can move the mouse up above your existing levels or down below your existing levels. In this case, we're gonna draw the top of footing level. And since it's the footings, it's gonna be down below. And each of our levels are just gonna go at 15 foot increments. So I'm gonna move this down until I see the number 15. And you can see there's a dash line there. That dash line comes into play if I move over to the right or to the left. And if I'm lined up directly at the end point of this particular level, we'll see that 15 foot mark and the dash line. So go ahead and click there, move over until you see the next dash line over there on the right hand side and go ahead and click. Now, if we zoom in, and you can do that by using the wheel on your mouse, you can see there's now a level three at negative 15 feet. Also level two right now is at 10 foot, and we're gonna to wanna to have that be at 15 foot. So in order to be able to adjust this one's elevation up to 15 foot, we'll start off by just hitting escape a couple times on the keyboard in order to make sure that we're out of the command. Next, we're gonna select on that 10 foot dimension, and if we click on it a second time, you'll start to see it highlight, and you can just type in 15 foot at this time. Now we're gonna to need to do a couple more things. Now we could just keep drawing our levels in, but what I'd like to do now is the second way of going about drawing our levels, and that is to use the copy command to do it. So I'm gonna select on a level, and once you do that, you'll notice that the copy command is available up here on the ribbon. Go ahead and select on copy, pick a point. In this case, I'm gonna pick a point on level one, and what this is gonna allow us to do is be able to make multiple copies at 15 foot increments. One thing to know first, if you don't already have multiple checked here, make sure that multiple is checked or else it's only going to allow you to make one copy and you'll have to re-execute the command again. So go ahead and select a point here on level one, move up like this, select a point on level two. We now have our third level. I know it says level four, but we'll eventually we'll rename this our third floor. So we'll make this fourth floor, fifth, sixth, and keep executing this command. We'll move this up to seven, eight, nine, and this last one's gonna be a roof level, so this is gonna be our 10th level, or our 10th floor, our roof floor, all right? If we've done it right, if you zoom in, you should notice that this last one's at 135 feet, and you can go ahead and hit escape a couple of times to get out of the command. Now, the next step that we need to do is actually rename each of these levels so that they, one, display right, and two, they'll show up in the right order over here on our project browser. So far, all the ones that show up here on the project browser are levels one, two, and three. And we can tell that even without looking here at the project browser, because currently they all have labels that show up as being the color of blue. Now we'll talk about how to make plans over here underneath the project browser associated with each of these other levels. But first let's go ahead and rename this bottom one first. And this is gonna be zero dash T O footing. So top of footing. It'll ask, would you like to rename the corresponding views? And what that means is would you like to rename the views that show up underneath the project browser here over on the left hand side? And the answer to that question is going to be yes. And we can now see that we have zero dash top of footing level plan view over here in the project browser. Go ahead and do this with level one, where we'll have one dash first floor. Rename corresponding views. We'll just keep saying yes to that for now. Two dash second floor. Yes. This next one's gonna be the third floor. So of course, that's gonna be the number three dash third floor. Now, technically this can be any sort of naming scheme that you wanna do. So if you just wanted to say third or structural floor or whatever you wanna call it, you can. This next one's gonna be the fourth floor. Now, the reason why we're putting the number first is that when it comes time to make these views, it'll try to do it numerically over here underneath the project browser. If we don't put that number in, then it'll try to do it alphabetically instead. 
and then you're going to have floors sort of out of sequence with one another, and it'll be a little bit harder to find over here. So I always like to put the numbers in first, just so it looks right over in the project browser, and it makes things a lot easier to find. This will be the fifth floor. And we'll continue to do this on up until we get to the ninth floor. And this final one is going to be 10-roof. Technically, we could call it r-roof if we wanted to, but realistically, this is just going to be 10-roof or 10-roof plan. You can name it the way that you want to. Now that we have these, we have all of our levels in place, but we still don't have all of our floor plans showing up over here underneath the project browser. So the next thing we'll need to do is come up here underneath the View tab on the ribbon, and we're going to need to look for this word here that says Plan Views. And we're going to select Structural Plans. So it's going to put these roofs under the Structural Plans in the Project Browser. Next, we can just highlight each of these, and you can do that by just selecting on one, holding down the Shift key, and then clicking the last one, and click on OK. Now, we may have seen a flash on the screen. If your computer is a little bit slower than mine, you may have seen these views automatically regenerate on the screen. And what happened is, is that it automatically created all these different views over here on the project browser. And what we're looking at is, in this case, it happens to be the roof plan view. And if we close each one of these individually, we'll eventually get back to our first floor view. Or actually, in this case, we end up closing out that last view. So it ended up actually taking us back to our elevation view, in this case, our south elevation view. And now that we have all these over here in the project browser, it means that we can start to draw any of our entities from Revit inside of the appropriate view. So, using levels, we can specify such things as floor-to-floor -floor heights and the locations of objects. And these floor plan views will be the basis for everything else that we draw.